All right, hey, so um, I really don't like problems having to do with money. Um, not sure exactly why, but they kind of rubbed me the wrong way. But you really need to know how to do this, so uh, I'm, I'm including two word problems having to do with money. So, eh, I don't like it, and maybe you don't like it, but, you know, it's useful. We all need to buy things, and um, sales tax is something that we all have to deal with and discounts are something that we all encounter so percent of increase and percent of decrease in the real world um, for shopping you know what we encounter it all the time so gotta know how to do it so fine I'm doing it um, then I'm gonna do one that's kinda more interesting to me right so okay so this is percent of change and percent of change um, the percent of change of a quantity you know maybe how much something costs or maybe how many cows there are. Uh, the percent of change is the extent to which that quantity has gone up or gone down, expressed as a percentage, um, which is just a number out of 100. This percent means out of 100. So, um, you know, instead of something going up by $5, we would express that as a percentage. So maybe that's 25%, something like that. Okay? So let's, let's try a few. Um, and these are more concrete examples where you would actually use your knowledge of percent of change to solve stuff um, in, in real life. So, for example, you find an awesome dress for 20 bucks, but you have to pay sales tax too. You know, welcome to the real world. You end up paying 2160 for the dress. What percent was the sales tax? Uh, so we'll kind of reverse engineer the sales tax, and I'll, I'll do it again where you start with the sales tax and you figure out how much you're going to add on. Um, that's probably what you're really going to be doing. Um, okay, so percent of change is, is the change in the quantity. And I like to just write the, the delta symbol to symbolize change. It's not a very good one. Uh, it's just a little triangle. It's a Greek letter, delta, which, which means change. Um, so it's the amount of change, you know, up or down, over the original um, original quantity uh, in this case price alright so uh, you find an awesome dress for twenty dollars um, but actually what you end up doing is paying twenty one sixty so how much has the price changed it's gone from twenty to twenty one sixty so it's, so it's increased by buck sixty and if that's difficult to see what you, you can you know Instead of just calling it change, you could say uh, new uh, minus old over over old. So we could take 2160 minus 20, which is what it used to be. That's 160, and then over the, over the old. If that makes more sense to you. So the change is a buck 60 went up by a buck 60, and the original is 20 dollars. Okay, so we turn that into a decimal equivalent. So just grab grab a calculator. Uh, so top divided by the bottom, uh, 160 divided by uh, 20 is 0 0.08. And to turn that into a percentage, you you move the decimal over two to the right. So um, that would actually be equivalent to eight percent. So the sales tax was eight uh, percent, which which bumped up your the price for the dress uh, by eight percent, or in this case it was a buck sixty. Uh, we could do it the other way, where you know sales tax is eight percent. Um, how? What's the cost of the? Um, what's the new cost? So you can use this the setup uh, and say. The change over, we don't know what the change is yet. We know what it is as a percentage. Um, the change over the original, $20, is equal to the percentage, is 8%. Now, to, to actually work with it in a math problem, you need to turn the 8% into, into a decimal. So to do that, you move the decimal back to basically divide by 100. So uh, equals 0 0.08. Um, now to get x by itself, you know, it's being divided by 20, so you multiply both sides by 20. Uh, 
so 0 0.08 times 20, you can probably guess based on the problem, like 0 0.08 times 20 is, ding, 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 1.6, i.e. Uh, $1.60. Um, okay, so that's the amount of change. That's not the new price. So what I would do is I would take the old price, add uh, the amount of increase now, point plus one one sixty is equal to twenty one sixty, right? So and to kind of make it quicker um, for these types of problems, take the original. Here's all we really did. We set it up. Uh, like this, you know, to show how it fits this pattern of the change over the original is equal to the percent, uh, equal to the the percent uh, change. So if we know the percent change, but we don't know the change as in absolute terms, we can figure it out using this equation. But all you're really doing is you take the original and multiply it by the um, percent change, 20 times 0 0.08, and that gives you how much it'll go up by. And then add that to the original. Okay. So you can do that when you're shopping. Just pop out the calculator. If you need a quick calculate tax, see if you got enough to pay for whatever you're buying. Hope you do find an awesome dress. You know, if you're someone who wears dresses. Um, okay. So let's do um, let's do a decrease problem. Okay. So you find an awesome dress whose sticker price is twenty bucks, but today. All awesome dresses are marked down by a certain percent. You end up paying only 15 bucks for the dress. What percent was the discount? Okay. So the change over, so change over the original price or the original quantity is equal to the percent of change. Um, so. So let's set that up. So okay, so the uh, original was twenty bucks. How much did it go down by? Well, if you if you paid only fifteen dollars, okay, we're not looking at sales tax. You, you know, you, you would, the discount you would take the discount off, and then you'd add the sales tax on. You know, we're kind of simplifying this. You end up only paying fifteen dollars. So how much um, did it go down by? It went down by five from twenty to fifteen. All right, so we we can get the um, so we can do five negative five divided by twenty point two five you know point two five that's the decimal equivalent now to to make that look like a percentage just move the decimal over two to the right so um, so the percent of change is negative twenty five percent. In other words, there's a 25% discount. So the question is, what percent was the discount? So the, the percent discount is just 25%, not negative, uh, not negative 25%. Uh, this is the percent of change. Uh, so you know, if you don't know if it goes up or down, if the, or the question is neutral as to whether it goes up or down, what just what's the percent of change? Um, if it goes down, you say negative percent of change. If it goes up, positive percent of change. Um, this is asking what percent was the discount, so it's implied it's going down. So it's a 25% discount. All right. Um, similarly, if you want to find, so if you know that the price is $20, and you know that the discount is 25%, what you can just do is is multiply 20 um, by 25%, aka. 0.25, and that equals five dollars. That's the amount of change in dollars. So then, then just subtract that from the twenty to get fifteen dollars. All right, last one. Um, before, all right, true story. Uh, before the invention of agriculture, you know, farming, uh, which is roughly ten thousand years ago. Before the invention of agriculture, the world population of humans was at most fifteen million people. Now it is seven billion. What by what percent has the population of humans increased? So we've got um, so we've got change over the original is the percent change. Uh, it's the amount of change over the original. So 
the amount changes the new number minus the old. So the new number is seven um, billion. Uh, the old is 15 million. All right, so um, I don't want to think about it, so I'm just going to do a seven. Seven billion minus 15 million is um, six billion, 985 million. So that's the amount by which the population of humans has changed since the invention of agriculture. Okay, so change over the original. Original is 15 million. So let's just grab. So that's the amount of change has gone up by um, 6,985,000,000. Right, we're going to divide that by 15 million. And that's uh, about 465.67. I'm going to round that to. Uh, it's a decimal 465.767. I'm going to round that. And then to turn that into a percentage, we just move the decimal over to. So we've got, what, 46,567%. The population of humans has increased by 46,567% since the invention of agriculture. Later.